Hi, Jason again. One of the things that I didn't show in the uh, last Lisa demo was the tool programming toolkit examples. Um, these were uh, some Pascal uh, coded uh, examples that uh, Apple provided with the uh, programming workshop to kind of show you how to develop your own application. Uh, these were published right at the end of the Lisa's uh, useful life, so I don't think much ha uh, <laughs> they got much use. Uh, but fortunately, uh, Tom and the Lisa community compiled them, uh, so we're able to, uh, those of us who are not uh, good at ClassCal, can uh, run them. So I thought we'd just uh, go through them real quick. The first one is a uh, recipe book. Uh, this is actually kind of a fancy uh, fancy application. It's like a little database of recipes. And it's got um, main categories, each particular recipe. And you can switch between them. can change the uh, font. Notice it's got this cookbook uh, menu where you can add and delete a whole recipe or um, add, and add and remove ingredients above and below uh, where you are. So we can go back to the icing and say remove the four minutes. Um, kind of neat. And uh, of course multiple uh, multiple window panes and these these two sections are are separate checkerboard two double the checkerboard of checkerboard one uh, so this lets you uh, you can pick one of these tiles and then change the uh, the color and note that what you change here is also reflected in the uh, in the selection list over here kind of neat not particularly useful as it is um, let me show you your own column headings but kind of shows you how to interact with the Lisa graphically Clock is a more useless clock. It uh, shows you the current date and time with the word time. This alarm menu doesn't seem to actually do anything. And I'll set it for two minutes and we'll just leave that there. Sample gives you a lot of threes in this circle that you can move around. Very uh, neat. This is a blank window. <clears throat> In the stuff menu, we can pick, who am I? Where is my large automobile? Oh, here's where it's stored. Um, it, the program is able to read back where it lives on disk. There's also this cause alert um, function. So notice the first time I do it, nothing. Quiet beep. Loud beep. At last, here's the alert you requested. Uh, the office system has the ability to have a progression of alert. And you see this a lot when you're doing an invalid keystroke where the first time you do it, it does nothing. And then it will beep. And then the third time you do the invalid keystroke, it'll pop up a dialogue. I think they uh, were intending to not have the system barking at you constantly. So set that aside. Text Reader lets you uh, actually directly interact with the uh, underlying file system. Uh, this is really kind of the only application within the Office system that lets you do that. And we can go into here and read a file. Let's see if I got the name, try to remember the name right. Yes. 
in the uh, previous video, the demo that I gave um, from the workshop that was, uh, look at all the things you can draw with Quick Draw. This is the uh, uh, Pascal code that makes it work. So you can see here are the uh, encoding of the, uh, the icons that were in there. And if we go down a little bit further, here's all of the, uh, the text. Here's the, the heading. So it really kind of shows you how all of this is uh, constructed. And here is the six for, for I equals zero to six draw string arbitrary clipping regions. So that is uh, pretty useful, actually. We'll set this aside. Keyboard is actually a musical keyboard. As you push the keys, various keys, it plays the correct note through the speaker. Unfortunately, my keyboard has become damaged. Uh, the tool is not on my hard drive anymore for some reason. Uh, so this is the kind of dialogue you get if the uh, tool or application for the uh, particular type of document is no longer installed. So we'll just... Uh, Put that away. Two text uh, should, but is not working correctly. Here, let's do this. Um, let me make a new one. That's better. So notice as I type in this top box, it updates in this bottom box and vice versa. Um, we can change the font. Yep, all good and well. Uh, italic, sure. Um, nothing goes over there. And I don't know what this circle does. Um, anyway, set that aside. Oh, one other thing this shows off is the uh, movable um, uh, window panes. This, is, uh, this little icon here is... Uh, how when you have a, a window with windows inside of it, how you can move the uh, move the dividers. <clears throat> All right, put away that. We did two text. Uh, Boxer is the world's most boring drawing program. Uh, you can draw boxes or remove boxes or change their shade, both with a menu or with a uh, selection dialog. You can move them around. You can change their order. So that's kind of neat. You can draw a new one. Once you draw it, you can't resize it. It has undo, of course. All right, we'll put that away. Then the last one I want to show off of here is called Sample Dialog. This shows you kind of the uh, types of buttons and controls you get within the office system. So we have our checkboxes here, and notice it tells you, ooh, new cursor, uh, what what you have here. And 
next. And here are these, you know, what that corresponds to. So this is um, three, four, five, six. Can't do a seventh. There you go. Third press, it actually gives a uh, the dialogue. More buttons. Uh, notice on this one, as I toggle this, the uh, actual description changes. That's kind of neat. Know if this actually does anything, but I shows you the. Uh... Oh yeah, this shows off the um, how you can have cascading choices. Okay. That's everything. So, uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.